Hi, in this video I'm going to cover a couple of is functions. Now there's these four is functions and what they do is they tell you what type of data are in cells. So these four are the is blank which checks if the cell is an empty cell. There's also a function called is non text and this checks in the cell if there's anything that is not text. This third one is the is text what it checks is the cell contains anything that is text. And the last one is this is number, and it checks if the cell contains anything that is a number. In Excel, dates are seen as numbers. There's a serial number that identifies a date in Excel. And uh, these are going to give back either a true or false. That's going to be a binary response. And let's go and see what works here. So I've got a couple pieces of data here. Each, each, each of these cells have a data. And we're going to go ahead and see what happens when we put the function in there. So let me go ahead and type is blank and then just tab to open that parentheses select cell A2 press control enter to stay in the cell it will automatically close that with the parentheses here I'm gonna go ahead and bring the uh, fill handle down so it'll copy the formula down and you'll notice that uh, is blank works appropriately here so you may think that this looks like a blank but in fact this is not a blank so we might have cases where the font color that's being used within a cell that you've gotten is actually a white color so it kind of bleeds in and you see that up here there's actually a word there and it says blank and that's not the case this is truly a blank cell there's nothing in that cell and that's why it brings back true and that's why this one brings back false so this blank is fairly simple uh, you can use it in function to determine if for example maybe you've got people maybe you turned Excel into a questionnaire and you've asked people to fill out some questions or fill out a portion of it and you can use the is blank function to check if someone has filled out that part if it's blank of course they haven't filled it out but if it is if it's true they haven't filled it out if it's false of course uh, they have filled it out with something at least now that's the is blank function let's go to the second one this is is non text and basically as it sets down here it's going to check the cell reference that is anything that is not text. So anything that's numbers, a date, even a blank or an error. So let me go ahead and type equal is non text. Anything that's just not text. We'll go ahead and select this, uh, close the parentheses, press control to enter to, to um, stay in that cell. Let me go ahead and double click the fill handle here. It will copy the formula down. Okay, so let's go through this. So this is non text. So that's a number. So of course it is a non text that will provide back a true. And this is actually text. And this is say this is saying it is not text. Well, this is text, so that would bring back a false. And it's also going to bring back a false for this one. You may think that this 21 is uh, non-text. You see this 21 has a, an apostrophe right in the beginning. And what it does is it turns that into text, it turns the number into text, because there is a non-number that occurs before these numbers. And another telltale sign that this is text versus numbers, the way that Excel sees text versus numbers usually is with numbers, it aligns it to the right, and with text, it aligns it to the left. And so this is actually correct. So it is looking at this, and that's not really text. So it's non-text. So basically, it's saying this is text. So that's false. Now we have here, of course, this is false because we have this blank text here. So is it non-text? That's false. It is text. And the same goes for here. It's true because that's a number. And it's going to look true here because we're looking at an error. And it's also going to look true for the blanks. So that is, is non-text. You can use this also in if-then statements. You kind of coincide this with other uh, statements to kind of do validation of what kind of data is in cell. So let's go ahead and look at the isText function. Basically, it's the opposite of is non-text. So everything is going to be the inverse of column C. So if I put is text and then just put the cell A2 here, press enter. Let me go ahead and go back to the cell and double click the fill handle to bring it down. And so basically, it's going to be the inverse of that. So anything that is true here is false here. You can see here, it's true here. These two are text. And uh, that's text, but even though it is in a white font, it's basically invisible. And the other ones are false because these are seen. Uh, that's a number. That's an error. And of course, that's a blank. So basically, is non text and text are the inverse of each other. Let's go to the fourth one, the fourth and last one. And that's is number. So if I type is number, press tab, and select that cell. This is going to provide back true, and 
Let me double click the fill handle to copy the formulas down. Double click that and you'll see that uh, it's going to say false for that one because that it's text. It's also going to say false for this one as I mentioned earlier. Even though it looks like a number, this is represented as text. Excel sees this as text because we put an apostrophe at the beginning and also you can notice that this number is left aligned versus right aligned. So it's going to see that as text rather than a number. So that brings back false. And this also brings back false because there is text in here. It's not a number. And it, as I mentioned before, dates are seen as numbers. There's a serial number behind that date. If I right click it and go under Format Cells and go under General, let me go under General, you'll see that that date, 1 1 2015, it's seen as 42005. So that's the way that Excel sees this date as that number, 42005. And basically, that allows Excel to do calculations between dates. If you want to find a difference between a start date and end date, it's going to take that number, a minus or plus another number that re represents a date, and make that calculation. So that's what happens when you have uh, dates. They're seen as numbers, and that's why that is true. Now, the other ones are false, of course, because an error is not a number, and a blank is not a number. So these are uh, some of the is functions that help you see data in a cell. This can be used as a validation check with your cells, or it can be used in combination with other functions or formulas to provide validations in other cells. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.